What's up, YouTube? It's the kid David. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. I'm back with a football video. Listen, this is Sunday night. Rush first game back and Roger Devontae Adams. But ain't what I want to talk about. That's another video after the game is over. Game still going. Let me get out of here before they copyright me because your boy trying to get back in November with, with his copyright strikes off of him and back monetized. But get back to the questions here. Zeddy, is you out there? You practice my home fans. Is y'all out there? Wow. Is you out there? Zeddy, this is the first time in Patrick Mahomes. He's a, he's, a, he's a veteran. He's been, what, seven, eight year, eight year pro. The first time in his career, he has been more interception than touchdown. Patrick Mahomes has six touchdown passes to eight INTs. 154 yard pass and two interceptions, no tutties. He came into this game out, out of bye week, six touchdowns, six interceptions. This is very un Patrick Mahomes. Like, this is two years in a row. Where he's been declining in steps. Now listen, there are six to no. That's the best defense in football. Last year they don't want to talk about defense. I hope they talk about defense this year. This the best defense in football. If it's not the best, it's one of the best. They got one of the best secondary. They that last year they had Sneeze, and they had McDuffie, and they had uh, and of course you know in that front seven they got uh Chris Jones, Sneeze in Tennessee doing his thing right, and you got McDuffie, one of the best corners. They got one of the best sec. This defense. This defense is keeping them float. There are, this is the 0304 Patriots defense, right? Wow, but Patrick's already been a two time league MVP. Tom Brady was young in the game. He didn't get his MVP status yet, right? He was a young, good quarterback clutch. Patrick Home already hit a ceiling. Did, we, did, did he hit his ceiling? This team is good as they get on defense, and, and, and they're not 6 0 because of Patrick Home. Now, Zeddy, all you Patrick Home fans say you can hate, you just look at six touchdowns, eight interceptions. When, when has Tom? When has you got to go back to Aunt, to Peyton Manning? The next third, his last year in the NFL, when he was done, when he had nine touchdowns, seventeen interceptions. His last, like, like this is Patrick Mahomes in his prime. It's two years in a row. Last year he did he was statistically he wasn't good. This is on a decline, and he doesn't have a number one true number one weapon. He has a tight end, all time great Travis Kelsey. He has a speed and worthy. Just like last year, now he got Juju Smith. When he won MVP, he had Juice Me. He had a lot of guys to fill that void, but he don't have a true number one. Tom Brady played his whole career without true number one. Two of Tom, two of Tom Brady's lead lead MVP season, he didn't have, he didn't have a true number one. He just had Grunt. He had the two tight ends set, rest in peace, uh, Aaron Hernandez. He had Rob Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez. When they got rid of Randy Moss and they brought the two tight ends set, he won a unanimous MVP. And then he won another MVP. No outside of one wide receiver. So Tom Brady won more. MVPs without a number one receiver that yet he had Randy Moss in his later prime Randy Moss and Randy Moss broke records Tom Brady broke the record and he was the MVP but you talking about a guy that's already a two time MVP is declining and he ain't he playing like stuff I want to see Shannon Sharp get on ESPN first tape and call and, and, and say Patrick Home trash I want to see because this team is 6-0 ladies and gentlemen this team is 6-0 the, the, the Pampa Bay was struck Tom Brady last year when they got into that big old fight and Skip talked about it now and Shannon talked about it Skip couldn't understand why he was trashing Tom Brady so bad. When you look at Tampa, the team wasn't that good. The team wasn't that good. They couldn't get separation. The offensive line wasn't as good. The defense wasn't that good. And Tom Brady willed that team to the playoff, win that division. Now you look at Kansas City, that he's playing awful, pathetic. Six touchdowns, eight. This man played six games and only got six touchdowns. He averaged one touchdown per game and almost 1.3 interceptions per game. He got eight. Oh, so he played six games. He, he's throwing. He got, he's throwing over one hundred session per game. If you look at the average, this is all this pathetic. You, 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 any any fan can't. I don't care how how the pride of your weapon. Tom Brady was throwing a Dion Branch. Wes Walker, slot guys. Troy Brown, who played both sides of the ball when they needed him to play DB. Right? Uh, David Givens. Like Tom Brady was throwing to guys like that his whole career. He went to Super Bowl with guys like that. And then you, when you, the, the part of Tom Brady, and then you go, he can beat West, he, Julian Elements, other worlds, the uh, Brandon Cooks. Is, like, these are not, these are names, these are good guys, this guy, Speaster. These are not number one all time receivers. It's not Jamar Chase, it's Justin Jefferson, the Devontae Adams, your uh, older Buckles in this prime. This is not your Antonio Brown in this prime, Julio Jones in this prime. Tom Brady didn't have these guys, right? He, when he went to Tampa, he got a Mike Evans, he got a Chris Gowan, he had an AB. For one, for one season, then he went crazy the second season that he had him, right? So he went to tap and had those plexus of weapons. When Patrick Home came into, and now that you see him without those weapons, just a Travis Kelsey who can control the middle of the field, no really great outside threat, just a speedster and Rodin, Juju Smith, who's good, but not really 
that him and, and Pittsburgh when he had AB backing him up, right? So you starting to see, and Tom Brady hit it on it. Now he's in the boot. He hit on the Tom Brady for being part on ten percent. That team wrote six billion. He said six billion. He said they sell that team. He gets six hundred million. That walk away. That's perfect. Good, good stuff. He's gonna be get your deer in oh, in, in Las Vegas. They should draft Tom Brady. Gonna be the, having the decision making over the quarterback. The owner, the the majority owner said that the Davis family. But anyway, Tom Brady said. Did y'all notice nobody lighting it up in the NFL this year? No team lighting it up. No, no quarterback lighting it up. You just seen CJ Stroud for CJ Stroud throw for 86 yards, right? You seen Patrick Mahomes. You seen Aaron Rodgers having throw for 300 yards in 300 some games. And over 300 games, I'm not 300. I mean 20 some games. I think in 20 some games he having that's remarkable for all time great a full time he's like Aaron Rodgers. 20 some plus games. And he hasn't thrown for 300 yards. This guy, he might break his own bad streak and get 300 yards. He's got two seconds, one set with set. Still with seven minutes on the clock. But two high safety looks. We talking about this already. Two, uh, two high safety looks was most team playing. It's been a guys like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees. They play. They see plays too hot, too safety high to, take, to eliminate the big play. They still threw for 300 yards. They threw through a 30 touchdown play. They still had great. They still threw under uh, 10 in INTs. Now these guys, Tom Brady said, they don't know how to read defenses. They don't know how to read defenses no more. When you put two safety high, now you got to read it. You got to check it down. You got to throw the middle field. You got to throw underneath. You got to do that. These guys are not doing that. That's why they're throwing deep and throwing a lot of picks. And he's just running wide open. Russell Wilson is cooking. Russell is cooking. But that's my take. I want to, I, I challenge anybody to tell me what's, what is going on with Patrick Mahomes. I, I, I highly doubt that he's declining at age 29. I'm 29. I, I mean, he in his prime, prime, prime. He ain't hit 30 yet, right? So let me know what you think. Let me see. I want to know what Shannon Shaw, what Stephen A. Smith, all these, and, and, and Nick Wright, and all these Patrick Mahomes, Apollos, he's Jordan Ness. He's Chris Bessard. He's Jordan Ness. Nah, he's looking like uh, ass. He's looking ass, ass. Like he's eight. We call that ass. He looking ass. I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of this uh, game tonight. Uh, I'll see you on next week. Peace.